gentlemen, co-creators, thank you for joining us on another for another episode of Living the Law of Attraction with Mark Cosby. I am your host, Mark, for the show. As always, I'm joined by Daryl Johnson, CEO. It's always a pleasure having him working in board for me. Good to be here. So today is a great day. Today is a special day. Uh, my wife's birthday. It's her 26th birthday today, so we're going to be celebrating that with her this uh, this weekend, and we start celebrated a little bit last weekend too. But uh, what, what's your wife's name? Arlene. 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 Yeah, A R L E E N. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Right? Yes, sir. You ready? Yes, sir. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Arlene. Happy birthday to you. I love you, babe. All right. All awesome. Right. Thank you for that, sir. Yes, sir. You know, this is why, you see, people, this is why you want to surround yourself with people that are innovative, people that are always thinking ahead, people that are always in, high, uh, energy, uh, operating on a high energy level, people that are always in the mode of giving. You know, that was a classic example of the law of attraction working for my wife, who was not even in the room, who's not even present. She's out, you know, seeing her clients this morning, taking care of other people. See, when you, the more you give, the more you receive. The more you give, the more you receive. The more you receive, the more you give. See, that's the mantra, and uh, I call it what you want, a mantra, affirmation, declaration that is my go-to. Yeah. And it, it, it works almost immediately every time. So... Now we got that out of the way, like the man yeah, said here, we yeah, set the tone yeah. for the show. Welcome back to episode five, ladies and gentlemen. And today the topic of conversation is going to be 10 things you should put in your body every day for more healthy you, part two. See, if you recall, this is an ongoing list because there's so many great products and so many great um, uh, vegetables and fruit and everything on this planet for us that we can eat infinitely to keep our health and wealth mm -hmm. up together. Because, you know, nowadays your health is your wealth. True. You know, you get you get that one bad medical report or that one bad medical bill, and it's it gets lights out for the for the. Uh, well, you know. I mean, if he were here, we could ask Steve Jobs. I know. Oof. Wow, classic example. Classic example. Classic example. This guy has you know, and let me get off topic again, but let me feel okay. And so, part two of the show, the segment is we're going to talk about the um, mirror affirmations. Uh, manifestations, you know, things that around your house you can use to help speed up the process and and so you can live your best reality, so you can be your, live your best life. Your intended purpose on this planet is to be happy, healthy, wealthy, and successful. And when you're in those states, you're able to do more for a lot more people around you, and, it's, and it's, it becomes bigger than you at that point. Like uh, Daryl and I were talking before the, t uh, the show started. It was like, you know, we, it's all about leaving a legacy, leaving something behind mm -hmm. that you start. So when one income goes out of the equation, it, the, the machine doesn't stop. You know, like what, what Daryl and, and Miss Tammy Bay Tampa, uh, Tampa Bay Tammy mm -hmm. have set up here now is a legacy. You know, and then he he's adding great parts to it each and every day because that's you know once he, you just have to get started, people, and you, you cannot fail. You cannot fail. So true. So get 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 out of your own way. Get out get out of mental trash out of your head. You know, blast it out, suck it out, shoot it out, snort it out, blow it out. Do whatever you got to do. Get all that negative soft talk. Get all that negative energy out of your life. Clean your life up. And this stuff is so simple, man. It works. It works. I'm telling you, Daryl. Well, you know, just last night, you know, I, I'm, I'm always scrolling through on YouTube looking for the appropriate uh, video that I'm going to listen to. Right. And, of course, the one I selected last night was getting rid of negative energy. <laughs> you know, know there's, there's plenty of uh, positive ones out there, you know. Yeah. You know, manifest wealth, uh, create your own, op you know, everything is, but, you know, there are just a few on Clearing out the negative carbs in yeah. your in your head, so yeah. I'm like, yeah. let me focus on that for a little while. Because yeah. I, you know, you get that negative energy in you, and if you're not careful, it'll just slowly it but surely slowly creep up. Creep up. And so you have to you have to continue to beat it down. You know, yeah. You know, I just finished reading a book uh, a couple of days ago called The Energy Bus, and I I implore everybody to get that book and read that book. It's it's a quick little read. It's it's um. About dealing with positive energy, positive uh, and negative people, and things like that. Because see, and it's, there's studies, tons of studies out there that shows that uh, people that are, have positive mindsets and positive energy around them, they live longer. They, they're, they're more productive. They're more, they're happier. You know what I mean? There's tons of energy vampires around. You know, everything is taking energy from you. You know, because it's it's all energy based. It's another thing about the stupid people. It's all energy based, man. Everything around you is energy based. 
And in that book, it also talked about how your heart has more electrical uh, um, conduct conductivity or impulses going through it than the brain. See, people always think the brain has it because of all the billions of neurons, but the heart is more powerful because each time the heart beats, there's two nodes in the heart. It's called an AV node and an SA node. When those two, those are the two firing mechanisms for your heart beats. They were saying in the book that when the person is around and it has emitting positive energy, that energy from the heartbeat can be sensed and felt 10 to 20 feet away from the person. So what Daryl Johnson, CEO, and I got going on right here today is that we're both positive mindset guys, we're both positive energy, and our electrical inputs from our hearts are filling each other right now, and that's what it's all about. It's all creative people. We're all creative. We're all connected. See, you know, just connected because of, you know, handshakes. Whatever you're connected deeper than that. That's why people are fearful of their, their personal space. See, you can't let everybody into your personal space. You know, you got to set up a, a bumble of protection. A, a boundary, right? yeah. Yeah, a boundary, yeah. yeah. You know, only people that should be allowed in your personal space are the people you want there. You know what I mean? The people that you are connected with and you're trying to connect with. You know, your body knows intuition and all that, your, 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 your sixth sense. You know, like I said in the previous show, we're all born with a degree of clairvoyance and ESP, you know, extrasensory perception. We can sense things. You know, you're on the phone or you're thinking about somebody and then that person calls. You know, that's, that's ESP. That's telepathy. Mm -hmm. You know, but here's the thing. When we get older, we don't want people to think we're weird. We don't want people to think that, you know, we're different. You know, man, that's it. You got to be like, I was telling one of the, um, my group members um, for Carbon Fiber Mindset, I was speaking on the phone, I was like, you got to be a little delusional sometimes when it comes to this. Say, for example, if you ha have a house and the house is valued at $1.2 million or $2 million, mm -hmm. you got to be a little delusional and say, you know what? I don't know, I don't know where the money's going to come from, but I'm going to try to make that happen. And then you put that in your you put that on your vision board, you put that in your attraction box, you put that in your mindset every single day. Circumstances and things of that nature are gonna come along that's gonna help you get to that house that want that you want. No Here to tell you, you know. I, I'm uh, trying to get uh Justin uh, Perry on the show, uh from You Are Creators. You know, that's guy this guy's story's oh, story's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And he's here, isn't he? He's here in Tampa. He's here in Tampa. And I've been firing off emails. I mean, you know, persistence pays off. You know, and I'm gonna keep, absolutely. I'm gonna keep in that man with the emails. I'm, you know, I don't have his number yet, but I, you know, I signed up for some of his courses. Great okay. courses. He and his wife doing major things for the LOA community and around the world. And and we we're, we're lucky to have this guy running in Tampa. I'm wow, telling you. wow. Yeah. I need to get him to the power. Yeah, we, ball. we sure do. I, you know what? And that's why I sent an email you know, about you and him. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing the doors. Uh, the doors are we knocking. You know, we're gonna get the guy here. He'd be great to go to Power Covers Ball. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But Reach out to him on YouTube and see if he'll uh, respond that way. You I know? will. And I'll send another email and to him as well about the Power Cup of Ball. Okay. Yeah, so that's great. That's going to be a great event, too, by the way. It, yeah. it is. Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, y'all ready to get started for the 10 things you put in your body every single day? Mm. And also, what we're going to talk about is mirror affirmations uh, technique to, so you can manifest things in your life by using the mirror. That's right, using the mirror. You know, Daryl, growing up, um, we used to have this... Uh, this folklore, this, oh, um, what is it called? An urban legend, uh, what is it, Bloody Mary or whatever? And you look in the mirror and you... Oh, I believe in Mary Jane. Mary Jane, yeah, yeah, that one, yeah. yeah, yeah Some yeah. weird like that, you know, yeah. that, that you, you do certain things in the mirror and this this creature shows up and scratches your face and all that. <laughs> you know, it, <laughs> demon or whatever it was, you know. It had it scared. Yeah, it had it scared for a minute. It's like, let me say, man, what? Really, you know, oh, so the things that the things that we put, see, that's what I'm saying, the things that we put energy into that we shouldn't, see, right. because we don't know any better. Mm -hmm. But see, that's the great thing about being on this journey, uh, co-creators, ladies and gentlemen. The, the longer you're on this journey and the sooner you get on a bus, this journey is going to be great. I'm telling you, you get on this law of attraction thing, y'all, and I'm telling you, man, your life's going to change. I'm telling you, life's going to change. I'm here to tell you. Daryl can tell you. My mm -hmm. wife can tell you. Anyone who's on it can tell you, man. This is not some hocus pocus, hippie hugging, tree, tree hugging, uh, you know, tie dye, peace dude type of stuff, man. This this stuff works for everybody. It does. This stuff is powerful. It, it is. This stuff is engaging. You can't lose with the stuff I use. I heard that, Reverend Ike, man, Reverend, Reverend Ike. Ike. Reverend and see, that's another. Ike. I'm talking about another legacy. See, you surround yourself and you and you listen to stuff from people like those guys. You know, mm -hmm. you get the good stuff inside you, man. You know, there's two. In the in the book, I was just read, finished reading the Energy Bus again. It says you have two dogs. You have a you have a a, a bad dog and a good dog, mm -hmm. and they say feed the good dog. Feed the good dog. Feed the good dog. So feed the good dog. You know, because what happens if a person doesn't get food, sustenance, and water? 
they eventually shrivel yeah. up and die, right, and do away. So you feed the, you know, and it's like your garden. Your, your, your subconscious mind is a fertile garden. It, it will grow anything you plant in it. I mean, it's, it's miracle growth, people. I'm telling you, that's miracle growth. That's, what that's where they get miracle growth from. Miracle growth is your subconscious mind. You put anything in your subconscious mind, and you continually repeat it. You drill down from the conscious to the subconscious mind. That is going to spring forth, man, and you're going to get what you want, ladies and gentlemen. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. All right, it's time to go pay some bills. Uh, so come back, and when we come back, we're going to start off the top of the show again with affirmations like we always do. All right. You listen to the Law of Attraction with Mark Cotton. This favorite old school. You're listening to In Touch Radio. My name is Gil Sampson. I didn't come from a very rich family, and so paying for college would have been very tough. I don't know if I would have been able to go to the college that I went to, and then I don't know if I would have gotten into the career that I am in. So I think Bright Futures has done a lot to shape my life. I uh, got a job as a structural engineer, and I design residential buildings, commercial buildings all over the United States. Because of Bright Futures, I was able to go to college. You know, so many kids just don't even ever get that opportunity. And to be able to do it and not have any debt when I graduated is amazing. And it was all thanks to Bright Futures. Florida has created more than 1 million jobs in only five years, and a great education connects our students to these exciting opportunities. That's why the Florida Lottery has funded Bright Futures Scholarships to help over 725,000 students attend college. Because every play is for education. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. Welcome back, co-creators. Welcome back. Again, thank you for taking time out of your busy day to listen or to watch us here at this show. Uh, this is a great show. Uh, this is a great organization. First of all, I can never say enough about this organization how and how it's touching the community in a great way, uh, informing the community of things and and being proactive in the community as well, and I host some different events and things like that. And I'm just part glad to be a part of this great organization. So thank you again, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay. All right. I am worth every penny that I desire. I am worth every penny that I desire. I am worth every penny that I desire. That's an old school affirmation for wealth creation and wealth accumulation and wealth consciousness. See, each time you do these affirmations, ladies and gentlemen, these mantras, these declarations, you are creating wealth consciousness. You are calling it to your life. Your words are powerful, ladies and gentlemen. Your words are powerful. They have words to create and to destroy, okay? So use them wisely, and when you use your words, try to make them sweet, because you never know when you have to eat your words, all right? Mm. Oh, well said. All right, so the 10 things you're putting in your body every single day. Let's, and it's not going to be in any particular uh, alphabetical order or anything like that, but let's talk about the first one I want to talk about is um, apple cider vinegar. Let me open my notes here. Apple cider vinegar. I'm still having a hard time accessing the Internet here, sir. It, it didn't come up. No. Let me go. I'll go, I'll go to my notes. Oh, there you go. Okay. So, yeah, apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is, is fermented Apples, obviously, right? So it's, it's the cider that's in the that the, the, the emits from the apple once it sets and it wants allowed to ferment. Um, there's a couple of brands out there you want to get. And I don't endorse any particular brand, but the brand I use most often is called Bragg, B R A G G. The two B R A B R A, yeah, yeah, B R A G G. They're two um, PhD dietitians, I think, and I think one may be an MD as well. And so they uh, endorse that, and that's a great thing. But you always want to get it with what's called the mother. Now, the mother is when you get the bottle, and it's always in a glass container. It's never in plastic. And that's, we're talking, that's another topic for another show, glass and things like that on this planet that can help us to live and survive. It's when you shake it, it's going to be some sediment at the bottom. That's what you want. You want that. That's called the mother. That is the essence of the fermentation process, and it has so many types of benefits in it for you. Uh, it's good for your health, uh, health benefits. It, it alleviates, alleviates uh, heartburn. Mm. You know, it strengthens your immune system. It, it cleanses out things that are in your body that shouldn't be there. See, 
um, and it's because it's alkaline. The, the the American diet is a high acidic diet. And again, ladies and gentlemen, you know I'm I'm not um, portraying, portraying to be a physician or doctor or, or any type of uh, nutritionist or dietitian. Like I said, I've been around the world a couple of times. Been in the military, been around medicine all my life. So I read and I'm well read when it comes to it. But always seek you know help uh, seek the uh, the guidance of a physician before you start any diet or incorporate anything in your life. Uh, okay, that's, that you deem necessary. Also, I hope everyone's doing great with the oil pulling. Uh, that's um, you know I wanted I wanted to issue an oil pulling challenge uh, for the group here and for this uh, the, the audience members here uh, to follow. You can just do like a five or ten day oil pulling challenge. So, and I'll put up information on the board for that as well. So that's apple cider vinegar. Go out and get you some of that and start that immediately. Okay, immediately because you want to be in an alkaline state rather than an acidic state because in an acidic state that's where all the stuff grows that shouldn't be growing in your body. Okay. You know, your body is an ever-living, ever-changing, ever-replenishing, ever-recreating uh, entity. It's continually reprocessing, continually re- redefining itself, continually recreating itself over and over again on a cellular level, and a lot of people aren't even aware of it. You know, what you put in your body is definitely is what you're going to get out of it. Okay, the second one I want to talk about is called, it's an ancient grain, it's called quinoa. Quinoa is an ancient, ancient grain. Spell it. Okay. Q-U-I-N-O-A. Quinoa. You want to get this in your body in some form or fashion, ladies and gentlemen, because this is another powerhouse, another powerhouse that you can eat to help yourself uh, on this journey. Again, because when you're on this journey, you have to have high energy. You have to be motivated. You have to be firing on all cylinders at all times. You have to be because this, this this journey requires a lot of energy of you. And we're built for it. I mean, our, the, the, the mitochondria in our, in our cells is a, the powerhouse. It fires off electrical charges and gets the whole process going. So what you got to fuel your body with high, high, uh, high dense, densely protein, high impact antibiotic, uh, antibiotics, antioxidant based foods. OK, so that's quinoa. Get that 15 grams of protein in a grain. 15 grams of protein in a grain, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, like I said, our Western diet is, is heavy and big on meats. You know, we love our meats. We love our steaks. We love our our, our, our our pig. We love our chicken. You know what I mean? We love all that stuff. You know, and this is fine. You can eat this, but, you know, there's moderation to it. You know, start so start incorporating these high-protein, high-power superfoods, you know, like ancient grains, like quinoa. And we're going to do a separate show on and just ancient grains alone, the 10 ancient grains that, that we know of, that I know of, and I'm sure there's more. But I, I have already done research on the 10 other ones that I want to talk about for another show. So that's another show down the road to be ready for and get excited about. I know I am. <laughs> so that's it, quinoa. You want to get that. Uh, spinach. Spinach. Before that, hold on, even more profit than spinach. Let's go back. Let's back up. Watercress. Watercress is another one that you want to get into your, your system on a regular basis. Watercress is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you what this little stuff does for your body. Uh, where is it here? It's, that's a leafy vegetable. Yep, it's a leafy vegetable. Watercress is a leafy vegetable. It has, uh, it has tons of vitamins and minerals in it. It has uh, folates. It has selenium. It has manganese. It has all those things. See, and when as as a person gets older, or they recover from sports injuries, you're going to need manganese. You need all those 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 elements to help uh, you build your tissue back up. Uh, because what plagues most athletes in their, when they get a certain age in their forties? You hear about them always popping an, uh, an Achilles tendon. Achilles tendon. See? Yeah. Achilles tendon. See, that's because the elasticity of those those tendons and fibers or being uh they what is 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 leaving see but you keep the diet fresh and all these other these leafy green vegetables these fruits and vegetables these nuts i mean you got to eat the whole cornucopia of the, of the, the the food for your body because that's what your body requires you know you, the meat's great for protein but there's other protein sources you can get like we just t- spoke of the ancient grain you can get protein sources from your quinoa mm-hmm. and things like that and that's some great stuff so watercress is another thing you want to get in your diet right away right away uh, we talked about aloe vera uh, just last show, a live show I did. Uh, Daryl burned himself on, on the stove at home, and we, you know, we talked about the aloe vera. See, the aloe vera plant can also be ingested as well. See, the inner fillet is a gel. You can, you know, you can you cut that thing open. You know, go out in your backyard. I have one growing in my home right now on our property. Right, Daryl said he has several growing around his property. Mm-hmm. That's it, ladies. That's another plant that's been around for centuries, helping us out to get better and to heal burns and things like that, and help our uh, digestive tracts. 
That's what I'm saying, lady. You were, ladies and gentlemen, co-creators, you were born into an infinite abundant universe, and you live on an infinite and abundant planet. It's all here. What's that saying that you said the young lady uh, has one day about? All that I need, I already have. All that I need, I already have. Antonia. Antonia. All that I need, I already have. <laughs> Telling is a great thing. Mm-hmm. Seeing when you're blessed and you, and you already love what you have already, you, you, there's nothing more. You know, you already have it. Right. You already have it. Right. Just right. reach out and grab it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't nuke this thing out. It's simple. All right. We talked about quinoa. Yeah. So we talked about quinoa. Uh, mm-hmm. Flax seeds. Flax seeds are another one. Flax seeds are good. You can, and they're so great because you can grind them up and you'll never know they're in your, um, your protein shake. You can put them in your protein shake. Um, again, here's the thing about protein. Like I said, you, people always say you, you got to have milk to get protein. You don't need to get uh, use milk. You can use other things too. Flax seeds, another one. Get that one. Um, cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon. Cinnamon is powerful. Cinnamon is, all, is known. It's great taste is amazing, you know that. But it's also known as this is the only spice on the planet that, that I know of, and I'm sure there's more out there. But this this thing is antifungal, antibacterial, and antiviral. Uh, uh, That's how powerful the cinnamon is. So if you can get cinnamon in your body in any way or form, I, I didn't know that yes, about sir. cinnamon. Yes, sir. Antifungal, antibacterial, and it's antiviral. Wow. It is a, an amazing piece of. Uh, but there's a type. Now, see, there's two types. You want to get the Ceylon cinnamon. C e y l o n. C E Y L O N, Ceylon or Kalon. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly or not. C E Y L O N. Mm-hmm. Broccoli. Broccoli, broccoli, broccoli. There's a reason why broccoli looks like a tree, right? You no, know, because the tree of life is what a lot of the stuff is. It's, you know, it's, it's amazing how everything in nature looks like each other and replicates itself perfectly. So the tree of life uh, is what broccoli reminds me of, and that's exactly what it is. It has, it is the king when it comes to vegetables and regards to antioxidant properties. It has tons of great stuff. It has, again, folate, B vitamins, uh, antioxidants to fight off cancer. Uh, all of these, all of these fruits and vegetables have these things called catechins in them that are catechins that are really, really good in fighting different types of diseases and elements in the body. So you want to get broccoli in your, and here's the thing about broccoli. You can't overcook it. You want to have it where you're still kind of crunchy, but not too undercooked, but it still has to be a little crunchy. So when you bite into it, see if a lot of people we do in America and in other places, people want to boil all the nutrients out of the, right. out of the vegetable. If they're soft and soggy, the nutrients are gone. They got to mm. be right where they're just still a little crunchy and you can get the taste. You know what I mean? And you can dress broccoli up and just like people say, they don't like Brussels sprouts. You can dress Brussels sprouts up. I can, I got a dish for Brussels sprouts and you eat it. You'll be like, man, this is some good. This is the best Brussels sprouts I've had in my life. Because it's all how you season the people and you season it. You know, and not, you don't have to use salt. Well, you know, we just got some Brussels sprouts the other night at, uh, at, uh, the Capitol Grill. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now that's a pretty high end place. That's a pretty high end. It's a great I food. I could not believe just how burnt my Brussels sprouts were. Yeah. Uh, so I'm like, and my wife even said, are these supposed to be like this? Yeah, that's the caramelization. When you burn it, that's, yeah. Supposed to burn? Burn yeah. a little bit. Yeah, it should be, it should be a little bit. Char- yeah, it shouldn't be charred. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't but, know. It was close to next, charred in my mind. <laughs> I know you're not ordering ever again, so I was going to say next time take a photo, but I'm, you're not going to give it another chance. You know, well, and we, 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 we bit into them, and you uh-huh. know what? They, were, it, they didn't taste burnt, but. Okay. I, yeah. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm glad I know that. Yeah, I yeah, know yeah, that yeah. They should have a little char. A little, little bit char. A little bit okay. char. That's pretty good, like that, you know. So again, yeah. So uh, yeah, broccoli. Get that in your system. Green tea, ladies and gentlemen. Green tea. I know it has caffeine, and people say, "Oh, the caffeine, the caffeine." You know, high blood pressure. Well, again, moderation. One or two cups of green tea. Yes, it's pretty potent and it's high in caffeine. But the benefits of green tea are just amazing, man. It's at, it's one of the best anti dark dark green or even uh, uh, hot beverages you can put in your body. See it. And that's another thing you got to do. You drink warm beverages and hot beverages because that speeds up digestion. See, yes. You know, cold. You know, people. What do you see people walking on these big old big gulps full of cold sugar water? You know, that was a study put out a couple of days ago. An article. I'm gonna try to find an article and, and, uh, and send it out and read it and probably share it on the Carbon Fiber Mindsets page about drinking large uh, fruit drinks and, and the sweetened drinks. You know, the red and the orange and all those stuff. Man, that stuff is sugar. Sugar wreaks havoc on the body, ladies and gentlemen, mm. and the sugar industry knows this, and that's why they have people addicted to it. Um, blueberries. Blueberries are high, super high. They have the highest ORAC value of any fruit um, for the human body. 
That's oxygen radicalization um, ORC. What it does, it goes through it and it goes through and just fights all the free radicals and all the anti, uh, and things in your body that shouldn't be there. And high in antioxidants. See, you you have to. Uh, w whenever we move our bodies, you, we take a breath, we stand up, we walk, we do a push-up, sit-up, or whatever, our bodies release these things that are called free radicals. And these are charged ions that are flying through the body and destroys everything it gets in front of, uh, gets in front of it. So that's another reason why you want to keep yourself, you want to have high antioxidant stuff flowing through your body. You want to try to put as many of these ingredients in your body every single day as possible on a continuous basis. They can be in liquid. You can drink them in, you know, you can drink fruit juices, not the stuff, you know, the 25 and 30 grams of sugar crap. You can get the unsweetened stuff. That's the way it's intended to be. You drink it, choke it down. And, you know, a lot of the stuff, some of these things don't taste good, but they've been, they're good for you, see. We've been always, we, it got to taste good to be good for you. No, man. Tasting good for you is loaded with sugar, loaded with FD red number 40 and lake number, yeah, all that stuff, man. What is that? What is that? Don't put that stuff in your body. Your body is the first gift to you. You got to take care of your body. The Bible says your body is a temple. You got to take care of the temple, man. I'm telling you, you only get one. You only get one shot around at this. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's what it is. Uh, let's cover another one here. Um, talked about aloe vera, apple cider vinegar, black seed, cinnamon, green tea. Oh, an apple a day. An apple a day. Now that's there's some that that's something some truth and some validity to it having an apple a day. Apples are great. Apples are high in what's called pectin. Pectin is is a, a fiber that helps you when you chew it and you eat it, you know, the, like the outside of the apple. That's good for your body because what fiber does, the fiber keeps your, your digestive tract moving freely. It keeps it, not, you know, not backing up and things like that. You know, constipation, when people are constipated, that's whatever they ate just sitting in their body, just just sitting there. You know what I mean? And that, it's waste, ladies and gentlemen. You got to get waste out of your body because waste has stuff in it. It, it, it. You know, when you're chewing stuff, when you're eating stuff, you're bringing in bacteria and viruses. You don't even see them because they're so small. Um, it's just constantly being bombarded. We've constantly been bombarded by it, you know. So e even in your home, you think you have a, home, a safe, clean home, but it's always stuff around you. So that's why you just got to keep high end of stuff like this in your body. Apples, this is it. Right. Um, blueberries? Okay. Number 10. Number 10. All right. That's it. I think I had a bonus one, too. Let me uh, find it. Okay, so we talked about cinnamon. We talked about apples. We talked about green tea. We talked about blueberries. Okay, flaxseed. That was 10, right? I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, no, you, that's 10. That's 10. All right, cool. I had a bonus one, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll cover that on another show. Actually, the bonus one, I'm sorry, the 10th the one, the quinoa, that was a bonus because that was an ancient grain. I was, originally wasn't going to talk about that, but I decided to throw that in there. So that's going to be, again, you're going to hear about quinoa again, ladies and gentlemen. Again, get that in your system, somehow 15 grams of protein and all that stuff, and it's great for you. Um, if you want to call in, ladies and gentlemen, the number is 813-444-9588 and engage us in uh, conversation. You know, if you if you choose to, that's great. If not, it's all good. So, you know, we're just going to sit there and talk and continue to talk and, and share knowledge. But right now, we're going to go pay some bills so we can uh, keep this great lifestyle going that we got going here down in Tampa, Florida. Funeral Home, providing the highest quality, professional, and caring service for your family. Call Jeffrey Rhodes at 813-253-3419. That's 813-253-3419. Or visit him at 301 North Howard Avenue, Tampa, Florida. Ray Williams Funeral Home, for the finest care and quality service. This is Trina Johnson with Caldwell Banker Real Estate, the real estate agent you've been looking for. If you want top dollar for your home or you're looking to make a purchase, call me at 813-244-6953. Again, 813-244-6953 and let me list your home. This is Linda Archie with Taya Temple United Methodist Church. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month at the Village Market East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Free parking, free admission, fresh produce, live entertainment, vendor shopping, and delicious cooked food. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month, beginning June 22nd. For vendor information, call me, 1-888-991-2502. CRA. 
ad in In Touch News or Florida Sentinel. Please call me at 1-888-991-2502. The Village Market at East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, co-creators. I am living my best life right now. I am living my best life right now. I am living my best life right now. You say those affirmations, ladies and gentlemen. You say those things, and like I said, you drill down to the subconscious. You know, you, you, you have seen those movies where they strike oil and all that stuff, and the guys are drilling for oil, and then it all spews up on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way it's going to be when you guys... First of all, when you guys open yourself up and be ready to receive, so you got to be open. You got to open your heart. You got to open your mind to receive the stuff that's here for you. It's here for you right now. It's not some far off destination, some far off place where you got to climb a mountain to get to. It's right here in front of you right now. Wow. You woke up this morning. It's right here in front of you right now. Carp Dam, seize the day. Seize the day. Seize the day, man. Make it happen, Captain, okay? <laughs> Make it happen. So you drill down to the subconscious mind, and then all of a sudden it springs forth. You know, that's why they call it a wellspring. You know, it springs up. The knowledge springs up. The, the uh, association springs up. The network springs up. The net worth springs up. The health springs up. It all springs up once you get on this journey and once you open your heart and your mind to receive this stuff, man. So simple. So simple. Caveman can do it. Mm. Remember that commercial? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Geico. Geico, yep. Yeah. So, the next uh, topic of conversation we're going to talk about on this great show, and you know, I love being in the presence of this young man right here. This young man is, is exudes positive energy. Like I said, he's a stalwart in the community and doing great things for the community of Tampa Bay, and we're glad to have him here. And you know, at the at the break, we were talking about this this phenomenal guy that we're going to try to get on the show, and we're going to try to get him invited to the event as well. Um, Justin Perry, ladies yes. and gentlemen, look this guy up and, and follow him and subscribe on YouTube. I'm telling you, this, this guy is a modern day alchemist. This this man can create things. And, you know, he, this guy, this his story is amazing. I, I, just go on YouTube and find the story, and let that's let that be your guide and um, your guidepost, if you will. And I hadn't seen his story, man. Um, I, I just I stumbled on him, you know, through through the law of attraction, yep. and and just kind of started listening to him but i hadn't um yeah uh but you know i really would like to meet him yeah you know, yeah, I, I, yeah i discovered he was here in town like, oh, yeah. brother, yeah. here in tampa. Here in tampa tampa florida man tampa florida right in our backyard yeah Tell we me, got man. We, we will get him on the show we, we definitely will get him on the yeah, show yeah. Yes, matter of fact we're thanking we're, we're thanking god right now for <laughs> having allowed him to be here with us yep. uh to talk about the law of attraction yep so Awesome. See that? That's yes. it, ladies and gentlemen. You put it in present tense, and that's a great segue into the next segment. Okay. You put it in present tense, you put it in the here and now, and it will be soon in your reality and you're a part of your experience. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've seen it happen. Daryl's seen it happen. Absolutely. You know, Daryl's story, the greatest part of his story is that he was riding around a construction site of the big mail company uh, uh, complex that's been <laughs> built in his hometown, telling his friends that he's going to work there. Uh, how many applicants applied? 5,000. 5,000 applicants applied. For 200 jobs. For 200 jobs. And Mr. Daryl Johnson was lucky. I said I was going to get one, but I said it when I was 16. I got it when I was 18. <laughs> Planted the seed and then manifested two years later. See, but he was working every day towards and, it. And, you know, back then, you, you, you didn't call that the law of no, attraction. You, yeah, you didn't know. You didn't know. <laughs> hey, oh, man, you lucky. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can. That's lucky too. Right. Living, living <laughs> under cosmic knowledge. Oh. <laughs> that okay, that never was heard that yeah. One. Living under cosmic knowledge. That guy, he uh, who the guy who coined that phrase is Doctor Doctor Michael Beckwith. Okay, He's I've another. Heard him. Yeah, you've heard him. He he coined. I was like, man, that's powerful right there. Living under cosmic knowledge. So you didn't know what it was at the time. I did not. You were already manifesting. Yes. You were co you were co-creating your I was future. Co-create. <laughs> Out of 5,000 people, 200 people got the job. 
Daryl Johnson was one of them because he said it. Mm -hmm. He put it out there. He planted a seed, and he watered that seed, and he germinated that seed. He cared for that. He didn't go dig it up every day looking, oh, boy. It's a, you know, no. He buried it, and he let it go. But he did something every day, whether he knew it or not, every day towards that goal, and then, boom, his phone rang. Come down for an interview. Boom, the rest is history. Sure is. <laughs> it really is. It really is. Wow. Mirror, mirror affirmations manifestation techniques. Okay. Okay, the average person, think about this, only spends probably about, out of a 24-hour day, only spends probably about roughly three to four minutes in front of a mirror. You know, if you're a female and you put on makeup, slightly more. Mm -hmm. So you don't really get a chance to connect with yourself, see. You got to connect with the subconscious mind on as many levels as you can. You know, one of them is, is doing affirmations and talking about it and, and, and having a positive mindset mm -hmm. and saying positive things. That's, that's, that's connected with it. But... They say the eyes are the wonders of the soul, right? And that's true. When was the last time you looked in the mirror and looked into your eyes, deep into your eyes? Look into your eyes, ladies and gentlemen. And when you look into your eyes, you say things to yourself like, I am handsome. I am beautiful. I am amazing. I can do anything. I am prosperous. I am wealthy. I am successful. You see that? You see what you're doing? You're connecting with your soul. You're connecting with your subconscious mind. And you have to make that connection. You have to. You have to. You have to. It's like I said, the law of attraction is layers upon layers and upon layers of things that build on each other. The more you put into it, the more you get out of it. Like an investor. And the, the more money an investor put a, into a project, the more money he's going to receive when mm -hmm. that project is, is materialized, mm -hmm. when, that, when that condominium um, uh, a complex is built. See, if, you, if, they, if they're raising money for a condominium complex, they need 500 grand, and you give them 500 grand, somebody else may have given them, you know, they, let's, say, let's say for example, the whole project is about 2.5 million. You mm -hmm. give 0.5, you give 500 grand, <laughs> mm -hmm. then a couple other people give, you know, mm -hmm. what they can throughout the way. So whatever portion you put in, you're going to get back. So that 500 grand is going to come back two and three times over. So the more you put into this, the more you put into yourself, the more you put into your positive mind, the more you put into your subconscious mind, the more it's just going to blow away and just blow things in your life and just manifest things in your life that you can't even conceive. So let me ask you about the mirror manifestations. Okay. <clears throat> when you're looking at yourself in the mirror, mm -hmm. um, what is it that, what should you feel when you see mm. yourself you should feel happy <laughs> you should feel energetic you should feel grateful you should feel grateful that you can see you should just feel your emotion see that's the thing and that's energy too see emotions are energy negative or positive emotions are all energy happiness and energy sadness and energy anger wrath those are all energy see but those are negative the ones i've talked about so you got to feel positive. You got to feel happy. You got to feel thankful. You got to feel grateful. You got to be in a, a thankful and grateful mindset every day of your life anyway. But when you're in a mirror, when you connect with yourself in that mirror and you're looking in your eyes, see, most people, when they look in the mirror, they're looking at the flaws. Oh, I got mm. I got something going on here. Oh, look at that wrinkle. This and, eh. <laughs> those are special features. <laughs> those, mm. those, those, those will define you as a person. Those are your, those are your characters. That's you. That's your character. Okay, so... You know, be thankful for it. Be thankful you can see, first of all. You know what I mean? Because yeah. uh, vision, you know, people say vision is overrated, highly rated. Man, please. I, I, you know what? Take anything away from me except my vision. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can, I can learn how to sign language. You know what I mean? I can, I can write. If you take my voice away, I can write it out. You know what I mean? I can, I can text it out. But you take your vision, there's no substitute for your vision. See? You know, you can come say other things, but you can't come say for your vision. So when you're in that mirror, you, you, de you devote... I, I devote, when I do affirmations in the mirror, I devote like probably five or ten minutes. I, got, I have one track I listen to when I'm doing my affirmations as a wealth and a prosperity affirmation. Now, I think I sent it to you, too. I, I'm in a mirror looking at myself and then looking at my eyes as I'm saying those affirmations and saying those declarations. And let me tell you, man, it, it's, it's some powerful stuff. Powerful stuff. You have got to, you have got to, you know, if you believe in things you can't see, you know, you got to believe in this. You believe in electricity, right? You can't mm -hmm. see it. You, know, you believe in the wind, you don't see it, but you see the effects of it when it's blowing on the trees and blowing stuff down the street. It's, it's energy. <laughs> it's all energy. It's great. Uh, you know, I haven't done mirror affirmations, so yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm really looking forward to doing that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 a, it's a game changer. Okay. It is a game changer, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to tell you it is a game changer. Mm -hmm. 
You know, you sit in that mirror, man, you look, you got to look in your eyes and you, it's, it's amazing what you can feel when you look in your eyes and, and what you, you know, what you, what you see. And, you know, and the visualization in this journey is, is so, so important. You got to visualize yourself in these things. You got to, you got to put your mind, you got to, there's a house that uh, the missus and I want. And what, you know, I, I play, I play myself walking through that. I play in my mind. I play it in my mind myself walking around the house, enjoying a swimming pool area, enjoying all the great things about the kitchen, the bathrooms. I visualize myself driving up to the house, going to the driveway and mm -hmm. the garage door opening, me pulling the car in. I visualize. Visualization is key, people. You got to put yourself in a moment and you got to be happy and feel like, man, this is going to happen because I know it will because I believe in this stuff. See, again, you got to raise the bar. You got to raise the bar on your life, man. You got to raise the bar for these things you want to experience in your reality. You know, you got to believe it. You got to believe it. Mm. Once you start believing it, you're going to achieve it. And once you achieve it, you're going to reap the benefits from it. And you're going to receive it, see, the bar. You're going to raise the bar, man, to raise the bar. And once you raise the bar, you have just met the three eaves of success. Believe, achieve, and receive. Those things are possible for you. If, you know, ordinary people can come from, you know, being $60,000, $70,000 in debt, why can't you do it? You can do it. You can do it. Stop putting limitations on yourself. Stop having these limited, limited thoughts. Stop having these limited beliefs. Man, you are, you are unlimited. You are unlimited. You are limitless. You can't be bound. You're boundless. <laughs> get it, get it. I'm telling people, drill down. You are great. You are a great feat of engineering. You are the most extremely engineered entity on this planet. You have a brain that's incredible. I mean, the brain, the human brain is amazing. We can do so many things in the human brain. It, you can have a, 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 closed, a closed head injury or TBI, traumatic brain injury, and it'll wipe out everything. But the more you work with that person and rehab that person, we see it all the time at the hospital. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you, you ever seen a chalkboard? The chalkboard is filled with words and all the stuff. So after a brain injury, what happens is some of those words are missing. You know what I mean? So it's, it's not 150 words up there, you know, maybe 75 words now, mm -hmm. you know, where they've been erased because of the boom, the bump on the head. Mm -hmm. But showing history uh, 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 um, over time, when you rehab those persons, those stuff just comes back. They feel, the gaps fills in. It's called neuroplasticity. See? Our, our, our neurons and all that stuff, you can t you, we, we still can grow. We still can grow. The more you do, the more you do these affirmations, you create another pathways. See what I'm saying? More pathways to growth in your brain. The brain, the brain is an amazing thing. I'm telling people, it may not be able to grow physically, but it can pop. Things can pop up in your brain that you know. Because if you keep doing these things, it's true. It's true. You send another side of yourself that's, that you never knew about. Um, and again. So the mirror. You know what, man? Yeah. I, when I was watching you, it, it just it kind of took me back to when you first called me uh -huh. about doing the show. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I really wanted to believe that you were going to do it, but something told me, oh man, this this brother not going to do this, man. <laughs> uh -uh. No, law of attraction, no. It, it's you know because one, it's not easy to do. Not easy to do, brother. Uh, and, and so, but I was. I was really, really excited, but I, I, I promise you, I really didn't believe you were gonna pull it out, man. I'm telling but you, you have, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have. Look, look, this journey, this journey, man. That's why they call it going down a rabbit hole. And when we get, when we, when we have Justin sitting in the studio, when we have there Justin sitting in the studio, we are gonna talk about all that. This dude, oh, this man. dude, man. I gotta keep going back to this guy. This guy's, this dude's great. I'm telling this guy's mm -hmm. great. We gotta get this guy on the show, Daryl. And. You know, I know he's reading. I know he read the email, so he's gonna do his due diligence. And he's, you know, I don't look. We'll we'll talk about it. No, I, yeah, I, I already see him. <laughs> yeah, I you see him sitting in the chair, man, doing his thing. <laughs> I and mean, that's just. I told him, I said, we are, the, the whole show can be yours. I said, we just let you talk for a whole hour straight. I said, we can have you in and out of here within an hour, man. I said, you can do it. You can the do whole it. show. I, we we just open it up and just. I, I'm just gonna ask him. Just I'm just gonna say, just tell your story. That's it. And not only that, we'll give him two hours. Two hours. <laughs> <laughs> boy, boy, boy. Yes, yes, yes. So, and, and that's it. You know, mirror manifestations, you know, affirmations for manifestations and bringing things to your life is, is key. You got to do it. And here's more tips, too, on that. You know, you want to put things on your mirror. You want to put statements. You want to put flashcards. I have this thing called a flash, flashcard series, and we're going to talk about that, too, in another show. Flashcard series where you have a series of flashcards, and you just write out, Positive affirmations on the flashcards. You just go through those flashcards, you know. Mm -hmm. 
See, what you're doing, ladies and gentlemen, is you are creating wealth consciousness. You know, when you think about it, you know, energy flow, what is it? What's the saying? Uh, energy goes where energy flows. Where energy flows. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, wherever your energy flows, or the things, or, or things grow where energy flows, wherever, you, wherever that energy is going, that's just going to continue to grow in, in your life. And pretty soon it's going to be just so big that you won't be able to handle it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is, is that the show? Is that it? Okay. All right. It's time to pay some more bills. When we come back, we're going to uh, have a little bonus coverage on uh, creating wealth consciousness. And this is a good one right here, too. So uh, stand by for that, ladies and gentlemen. p.m. for Jazz at Miss Connie's House, bringing you the smoothest jazz and the coolest guests right here on In Touch Radio. Been in a car crash? Call Ricky. Don't know what to do? Ask Ricky. We will connect you with a lawyer and doctor experience in auto accident injuries. Call Ricky at 844-361-7425. After an auto accident, you have 14 days to seek medical attention. You may be in pain. So call Ricky, ask Ricky for your best options. 844-361-7425. Call Ricky, ask Ricky is a legal and medical referral service. The lawyers in our network pay to receive referrals. Hi, this is Trina Johnson with Caldwell Banker Real Estate, the real estate agent you've been looking for. If you want top dollar for your home or you're looking to make a purchase, call me at 813-244-6953. Again, 813-244-6953 and let me list your home. Welcome back, co-creators. Welcome back, co-creators. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for taking time out of your busy show, a busy day with me, and I want you all to know that you are on In Touch Radio, reality radio, where everyone is a star. Everyone is a star. You, know, you got to look at yourself. You're one of a kind, first of all. You're one out of seven billion people on this planet, on this abundant, great planet. You are one out of seven billion. You are a star. You are a superstar. You are a legend. So start thinking of yourself in that way. Start feeling that way. Start being that way. See, in order to be something, you have to be, you have to be it, if you know what I mean. If you want to be a millionaire, you have to act like a millionaire, think like a millionaire, walk like a millionaire, exude confidence like a millionaire. And notice I didn't say dress like a millionaire, right? Because you know, most millionaires, you don't even know they're millionaires because they're not dressed in these high fancy. Man, you said a mouthful. Don't get it twisted, ladies and gentlemen. They not. Yes. Yeah. They not walking around. They not in suit and ties no, no, and Rolls Royces. No, no. These dudes are driving anything. They look like bums sometimes. They shop mm -hmm. at Walmart. They 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 do all. But that's how they became millionaires, man. Because they know that it's not about that. Yeah, it's okay to dress nice. You 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 mm -hmm. see us occasionally dress nice. We're we all dress nice, mm -hmm. but we're not. It's not. A, it's a you know. It, it's not what you think anymore. See. And again, millionaires aren't these old guys. You got millionaires that are in their twenties and running around, and you got you know eighteen year old millionaires because things have changed, ladies and gentlemen. The way to make money has changed. These people are making tons of money from home. They're not driving to an office and sitting in an office eight or nine hours, or going to the operating room. In my right, case, right. working nine hours in the operating room to get wealth. These guys are creating things that these you know this coding. That's what I'm saying. You always got to learn new stuff. You always got to be learning new stuff, new skill sets, man. Because if not, you're gonna get left behind. 
and you know learning about cryptocurrency and all the blockchain technology. People, you need to start learning about this stuff because you're going to get left behind. I'm ready to tell you right now. Mm-hmm. And it's happening already, and it's happening fast. This stuff is changing fast. It's computers and stuff are changing the way we do business fast. And pretty soon, you're not even going to have money at all. You just, you know, you're just going to be just, you can pay things with your phone. You can already pay things with your phone right now. Already. Yeah. You don't want to have money anymore. Amazing, right? That's scary, really. Scary, really, yeah. But mm. you got, you know, people just, you know, like the old way of doing business is over with. You know, it's like, look at all these new uh, cash uh, accounts, uh, Cash App, uh, Venmo and all them. They can send money to each other wirelessly, wirelessly and things like that. You know, cryptocurrency is out in full force. It's not going anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. You know, 20, 21 more stores just came online and said they're going to start accepting Bitcoin and uh, cryptocurrencies. 21. Really? Yes, sir. Do, can, can you name a few? Name a few there. Let me, Starbucks is starting to start, start take it. Okay. Uh, what's, what other store is taking it? Um, uh, th- I want to say Kohl's is taking it. I'm not sure. but I, Here's the thing. I'm going to give you the list. I got a list. I'm going to find an email, and I'm going to email it to you. And, yeah, 21 stores. I know Bad, Bad Bath & Beyond stores like that, they're starting to take it. Yeah. And that, those stores are huge. Right. Yeah, bath me on those stores like that. Let me find that email and I'm gonna get it over. I'm to gonna you. accept it too. Yeah, do mm-hmm. it. It's here. It's not, dude. It's it's here to stay. It's here to stay. See, and get in, ladies and gentlemen. Don't see the old way of making money is it's still there, but there's new ways of making money. It's less less stress involved. You don't have to drive to go to a hospital or go to an office building to work to earn money. You can earn money from your home on your laptop, on your iPad, on your phone, even. It's wow. there. All right, we got caught up. Here's the, here's the affirmations. I am abundantly wealthy. 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 And that can be interchangeable. You can put healthy in there. You can put I am abundant wealth. I am abundant health. Because, like I said, your health is your wealth. And I'm also going to get this list of affirmations over to uh, Daryl, too, for, so you can put it up on the page. And um, I'll share it to my page as well. So let's talk about wealth consciousness and creating wealth consciousness, see? And it's easy to do. It's easy to do. Um, There are things that you can use, common items you can use um, that you can uh, have for to create wealth consciousness. Little uh, items. It can be be a rock. It could be a piece of clay. You know, I'm going to explain those in many things. This is not talking about rocks and clay with clay. So, but uh, it's possible. Uh, th- these things are called talismans. See, a lot of people talk about things. The word talisman has something to do with something evil. No, it's, it really doesn't. See, can you spell that? Talisman. T A L I S M A N. Talisman. T A L I S M A N. So, uh, there's another guy was following uh, Robert Zink. I, on, I hate to say it, but yeah. what does it mean? The, it means it means an object. It means a, 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 a object of. How can I say it? An object of. Affection or something? No, not affection. An object of uh, use, a talisman. It's like you can use it for certain things. Okay. You know, like they talk about uh, um, uh, conductor's wand and things like mm. that, or, you know, so a talisman. I got you. So it's basically something that you can use to draw wealth to you, okay? Mm. So what I did, I was finding this guy, Robert Zink. Uh, he's also on YouTube. He's another great uh, law of attraction guru. I think he's out of uh, New Mexico or somewhere out west out there. Um, so he talked about getting a, 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 some clay, regular clay, and infuse that with uh, positive energy and wealth. And, talk, and basically, when you get the clay out, you want to make the clay out of a ball, make the clay out of a ball, and if you and he said if you have some type of oil, he, had, he, he used prosperity oil in particular. Use the prosperity oil because it has a certain scent associated with prosper, prosperity, obviously. Drip that onto the, the, to the uh, clay ball where it's infused in the clay ball. And whenever you... Think, see this ball. So I chose. I went and did the project. I did it, and I got the green clay because green signifies, you know, mm-hmm. fertile and you know, money. Obviously, mm-hmm. uh, paper and all that stuff. Paper money as well. But now we know crypto is out. <laughs> so I went. There, I got green clay, and I dripped the uh, prosperity all into the green clay, and I did my my uh, power. You know, charging with positive energy by saying, you know, this ball is going to represent me attracting wealth, finances, and abundance into my life. So now, whenever I see that green ball, the word wealth immediately pops into my mind. Mm. So the more you, the words pop into your mind, wealth, health, prosperity, abundance, money, health, wealth. You're seeing it over and over again. So whenever I see that ball or that talisman, whatever you want to call it, I, that word comes to my mind. And you anchor that to your, to your emotion. 
and just thinking of how you're going to feel when you have unlimited wealth at your disposal. How, how many people you can help with your unlimited wealth. How many people you can educate with your unlimited wealth. How many people you can literate or liberate with your unlimited wealth, see. And that's the true measure of wealth. See, I told my daughter one time, my oldest daughter, uh, well, my only daughter, <laughs> told her, I said, wealth is witnessed and not seen. She's like, what do you mean by that? I said, wealth is, is building things and helping a lot more people out. Wealth is not someone driving around in the fast car, the nice suit and the nice clothes. That is a component of it, but wealth is not shown like that. Wealth is, wealth is witnessed more so than it should be. It should be witnessed more so than it should be seen. You know, we have a tendency is we want to show people that we don't even know. We want to show our stuff off to them. We don't even know these people. I'm going to get the nicest car. I'm going to get the mm-hmm. biggest house. But what? But what? I, this, this, this other book I just finished reading, the Total Money Makeover. You know, I read a lot of books, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and that's another key to you got to read these books. The books and the self-help books are just that self-help. You know, you're reading a good one now. And I want to I want to get that uh, uh, not from you. I'm by myself and read it as well. It's a good book. Mm-hmm. Um you got to read the stuff, ladies and gentlemen, because you got to read about people that are successful. And you got to put yourself around successful people. You got to put yourself in successful events. You got to put yourself, your network has to be successful. You got to be, you got to plug in and connect with people that are speaking your same language. I'm not saying you're going to get rid of the people that you grew up with and things like that, but if they are not speaking the same language you're speaking on this journey, you got to reserve them for certain, I mean, they can't take a lot of your time. You want to be around the people that can cultivate you and to help you think, help you grow, mm. and can that can can benefit your life and you can benefit theirs. See, it's reciprocal. It's, it, it's reciprocal. It goes back and forth. Reciprocate, reciprocating. You know, this is all about. You know, we got a couple of projects going on. You know, I'm studying for my life coach. Uh, you all know that, um, but at least the group does. Carbon Fiber Mindset knows that. Um, the life coaching certification is uh, going to be coming up soon. Um, studying for my real estate license. You just got to do everything. You got to read. It's more knowledge. More knowledge. They say knowledge is power, mm-hmm. but knowledge is really profit, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Really profit. Well said. Well said. You know, just just yesterday, I was I was on the uh, going through some emails or something, and, uh-huh. and uh, my wife's uh, email was up, and and then Groupons popped up. Yeah. And so uh, I clicked it, <clears throat> and the first thing there was um, a a forty five percent discount on. This real estate class, and I'm like, man, yeah. Do I want to? Yeah, of course do you do. I, do I want to? Of course and you then do. My wife walks by and she says, "Oh, <laughs> we need to do that." <laughs> <laughs> See how it all works yeah, out, my man. It's yeah, a beautiful yeah, thing, isn't so it, man? Yeah. Wow, wow. And it's online. See, I can do online. She yeah. doesn't really like to do online. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Well, yeah, you know, we, we can we can do this. Yeah, yeah. You can do it. Yeah, you can do it, man. You, it's in your birthright. It's in your yeah, birthright, man. Yeah. Everything that you yeah. want, wants you. Wow. What you're seeking is seeking you. You know, again, doing steps every day towards your ultimate goal. Your goal is to be successful. Your goal is to be wealthy. Your goal is to be prosperous. Your goal is to be abundant. Your goal is to be a giver. The more I give, the more I receive. The more I receive, the more I give. I mean, periodically we'll go through on a regular basis. We we'll go through clean our closet out and, just, and donate clothes because you got to you got to do that. You know, yeah. you know, people talking about oh, you know, I like all my stuff. You know, it's clutter, man. It's clutter. You know, it's clutter. Yeah, yeah. Our kids tell us that all yeah. the time. Y'all got to declutter right Decl- here, mom and daddy. <laughs> okay, all right, we go declutter. Declutter is a great thing. <laughs> it great is. thing. Yeah, great thing. And I really love that slogan, man. I really love that slogan. Where everyone is a star. Oh, that, that's a, yeah, your slogan, yeah. Oh, good. You have reality yeah, that, that, radio. That's my that's my wife, man. She, yeah, she came up with that. One. Yeah, in touch radio, reality radio, where everyone is a star. Yeah, and I see you got your prosperity 2019. I'm telling you, it's a great thing. It's a great thing. It's a great thing, ladies and gentlemen. Sadly, that is the end of our show. That's the end of our time together. I hope you this. I hope you learned something. I hope this is beneficial. Definitely do the research on those things we talked about. Do the, do the techniques. Do the techniques for a minimum 20, 21 days. All right. There you go. 